Everybody keeps asking me, which should I choose, rancher or pertainer? And the choice isn't as easy as you think, so let's talk about it. So some similarities. They're both open source, you can self-host them on-prem or in the cloud, and they help you manage containers. And here's where they diverge a little bit, and here are my choices. So if you're running Docker only, and you want to manage containers on that machine, Portainer's the clear choice here. Portainer gives you a UI to connect and manage the Docker API that's running on that machine. It gives you visibility into any container running on that machine. And so if you're running Docker, or Docker Compose, or Docker Swarm, Portainer's going to be your best option. But if you want to manage a different orchestrator, like Kubernetes, now it gets interesting. So both Rancher and Portainer can manage Kubernetes. You can import existing clusters, create new clusters, and manage them in a UI. Both give you a cluster visualizer, an easy way to exec into and manage pods, see all of the nodes in your cluster, give you identity management and authentication, either internal or external, give you easy ways to connect to storage, and easy ways to supply networking to your pods. And both of them give you easy ways to install pre-configured apps. But here's where they diverge a little bit. Rancher has some relatively mature applications that are built specifically for Rancher and Kubernetes. Things like CIS scanning for security benchmarks, Istio integration, logging, metrics, monitoring, alerting, backups, and even their own distributed block storage system called Longhorn. Now, that's not to say you can't do similar things with Portainer. I'm just simply stating that they can be installed and configured very easily with Rancher, and they're part of the Rancher ecosystem. And that's also not to say that Portainer won't do the same thing. Portainer is a little bit newer to the Kubernetes scene, but it's been evolving rapidly. And who knows, maybe one day they'll start to offer apps and integration like Rancher has today. So which one do you choose if you're doing Kubernetes? Like I say with most things, the choice is going to be up to you. If you care about those apps and integration and the maturity of Rancher, then that's a good choice for you. But if you're familiar with Portainer and maybe use the Docker version or the Swarm version and you understand their UI and how to use it, then Portainer is probably a good fit for you. And if you haven't used either, I highly encourage you to spin them up because this is where they both shine. You can spin them up really quick and evaluate them and spin up a Kubernetes cluster within minutes. And then maybe you can tell me who wins in the rancher versus portainer question that comes up a lot. Because I'm sure this is a highly personal choice. Thanks for watching.